Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel for another weekly cash envelope stuffing. We're gonna go ahead and get started in my bank binder and we're gonna go ahead and take the money out of the bank envelope and divvy it out into the week three and week four envelopes for the month of April and stuff the whatever's remaining in my extra stuffing envelope. I hope that makes sense. Go ahead and check out my last video if you have any questions. Um, because I don't have a lot of cash to stuff, I created this binder just so we can stuff more money together, basically. And I'm taking less trips to the bank, so it works out well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take all the money out. And I've already got it pre-sorted. So we're going to take $360 and we're going to put it into week three. So let's just go ahead and make sure this is $360. 50 100 150 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 280, 290, 300. Whoa! 300, 310, 20, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50, 5, and 60. So that's right. So that's 360. That's going to go in our week three for April envelope right here. There we go. Didn't want to open. That's always fun. Okay, so that's for week three. And then we're gonna go back over here and we should have another $360 for week four here. So let's go ahead and get that counted. 50, 100, 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 20, 35, 45, 55, and 60. That's right, so that's gonna go in week four for April. A few people had commented, you know, that's why, why you're doing that, that's creating extra work. You're absolutely right. But I do love cash envelope stuffing and because I don't have a lot of money to stuff all the time, this is just another way we can hang out and count more money together. So that's why I'm doing it. Plus it saves me trips to the bank based on how I get paid. Okay, and then the extra money that was in the bank envelope is gonna get moved back to my extra stuffing envelope. So I'll make an extra um, cash envelope stuffing for this money this month. If you're wondering where this money came from, I'll, I'll go ahead and get, get you caught up real quick. So I get paid once a month at the beginning of each month for my full-time job, that's it. So I leave enough money in my checking account to cover my bills and anything else I just pull out of my checking account. And that's what all this money is. This is for stuffing my um, my wallet, my sinking funds, my long-term spending, my savings challenges, all that stuff. And this money was just there. I didn't need to use it each week because I'm on a pretty tight budget and I was able to stretch it a little bit and this money will be an extra cash envelope stuffing probably this week. So this is gonna be 50, 100, 120, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 90. So $290 is gonna go in the extra stuffing envelope. If they want to cooperate with me, have mercy. Okay, perfect. So then the bank envelope is emptied for the month, so we won't have to get in there again. We already stuffed week one last week, so we're going to go ahead and pull the money out for week two. Get it counted up, sorted up, and we'll see what we're working with. Okay, so for week two, we're stuffing 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 310, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 400, 405, 10, and 15. And you'll notice, so this is about, I'd say 75 or $80 more a week than I usually stuff, but you are gonna see on during the last two weeks of April that I'm stuffing a little bit less. So I didn't want you guys to be surprised if you saw that. So thank you, Bank Finder. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get into my wallet and we're gonna get this unstuffed and see if we have anything left we can put into our savings challenge box. Oh, this is really messy. This is kind of embarrassing. That's okay. And there's no glamorous way to dump the change. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. 
So let's get this change over into my change jar. Receipts to scan into fetch. Okay, and I did pretty good on spending this week, so I'm probably going to leave some money in here to roll over in the next week because the kids and I have some plans with friends next weekend. So we're just going to kind of see what we can do. Let's just see what we've got left over. So I have some money crammed in the front of the wallet, which is never really helpful because then I don't know where the money came from. That's okay. So let's just go ahead and get the money that I didn't spend laid out. I'm obviously used to stuffing less each week because look, I didn't spend the money that I usually wouldn't have stuffed. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Okay, so let's get into our ones first. Let's see how many ones we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, cool. Okay, and 11 and 12. So why don't we go ahead and stuff all of these ones into the savings challenge and I'll do six per envelope, so we'll do two envelopes. We're running out of room, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Put you in here. And then just make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, that's right, is gonna go in here we are doing so great on this challenge i am so excited i might have to <laughs> i don't know let's do the close up there look at that guys i'm so happy we only got a little bit left we're almost there thank you for sharing in this journey with me this is going to be such a fun video to unstop this it's heavy too she's got some weight on it if you know what i mean <laughs> okay so we're going to put this extra $15 into fun because we have, like I said, the kids and I have plans with friends this coming weekend and I wanna make sure we have that extra cash in there, okay? So now, now that all that business is done, let's go ahead and stuff my wallet. Okay. So coffee is gonna get $20. Dining out is gonna get $20. Fun is gonna get 20. So now fun has 20, 35, and 40. And then let's see, gas is gonna get 45. So 20, 40, and five. Okay, and then groceries is gonna get 160. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60. And then household is gonna get, oops, I got too fast. Household is gonna get $20. Spending is not gonna get anything. So here's the pretty envelopes all stuffed up. I left these linked down below my description box last week um, from the Etsy shop that I got these from. I'll leave them down below again and my wallet that I got too. I love this wallet because it's got room for the cards, but also, you know, plenty of room for the cash and cash envelopes. And it's got such a slim profile. It's just easy to carry and it's fun. So, okay, so let's go ahead and move on to cash envelopes. Buffer is not going to get stuffed. And you know what? I need to add that onto my list here. Let's just do that. It's not going to get anything. And it's got, whoa, high straight line. How are you? There we go. $20 in buffer. Clothes is going to get 10 
All right, so now close has 20, 40, 50, 60. Okay, electronics is not going to get stuffed, but electronics has $40 in it. Gifts is not going to get stuffed, and gifts has $5 in it. Giving is going to get $5 as per usual. Giving now has 25, 35. Haircuts is going to get $5. So now haircuts has 20, 35. Just for me is not going to get stuff today. Just for me has $10 in it. My mom's envelope is not going to get stuff today, but she's got 20, 40, 60, 85. My on the town envelope is going to get $10. I'm excited about that. I'm taking one of my mom friends out this weekend for a little while. So we have 20, 30, 40. My wellness envelope is getting $5. So wellness has 20, 40, 60, 70, 85. Family time is a new envelope I'm adding back in here. Um, it's basically fun. The, my fun category in my wallet is basically family time. Um, but I want to be able to, you know, put more money away than I want to actually carry in my wallet. So family time is going to get $10. And that's going to do it for my long-term spending binder. And now let's jump into my sinking funds. <clears throat> and thank you so much, everybody that commented last week that let me know where I missed my stuffing my five. It was school. So let's go ahead and do that now. I don't want to forget. Summer for the kids. That's where this needs to go from last week. And we will count this because I'm stuffing it again in a minute. So I won't, I won't make you sit through that. <laughs> okay. Birthdays is going to get $10. April, May, and June is fully funded at 100 So we have 100 in here. And then we're going to add 10 into the July, August, September envelope. So we have 100 10 20 30 40 45 50 55 60 65 165 Starting to save up for my oldest daughter's birthday. All right, car is gonna get ten dollars. I usually always stuff twenty in there. Oh, I'm getting myself all confused. I'm changing up the game here. <laughs> all right, so in car maintenance, we have one hundred, two hundred, two fifty in the bank. 270, 280. That's right, right? 100, 250, 70, 80. Yeah. Okay. Once in a while, I get to counting those odds and I'm like, oh, that's way too simple. I definitely made a mistake somewhere. <laughs> okay. And we are going to stuff uh, one of my long term savings envelopes. Well, two of them today, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and get them all out. So our emergency fund is going to get $10. So for our emergency fund for 2023 so far, we have 100, 200, 350. So 350 in the bank, 360, 370. So 370. Okay. 
Okay, my savings we're not gonna stuff today. My kiddos savings we are, and that's the zombie apocalypse envelope. <laughs> if you're new here, go watch some of my older videos. We have some great fun with this envelope. That's gonna get $10. 10, 20, 30, 45. So 45 in my kiddos zombie apocalypse savings envelope. Holidays is not going to get stuffed, but I'm going to count this one just because I want to know. 20, 40, 50, 65, 75. Okay, so we've got 75 in holidays. <clears throat> Mia's envelopes we're not going to count today. Um, moving is going to get $10. Okay, so now in our moving envelope, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 in the bank, 510, 20, 5, 30. 530 so far, which is great. All right, in the school arena, we are going to stuff $20 in the kiddos' summer activities envelope. Coming up fast. So summer activities for the kids has 100, 200, 350. So 350 in the bank. 370, 375, 80, 85, 90, 95, 405. And we should have $20 left that we are going to stuff in vacation. So let's make sure that, oh no, we didn't. Okay. We have $15 left. I know why this happened. Don't get angry at me. I still get angry at me. So it was because of the $5 in giving when I was pre-working this before I started filming, I forgot to account for that five. So I took the five when I didn't really have the five and I put it in giving. So it's okay. It's going to be fine. Watch. We're just going to, it's okay. Fifteen. <laughs> $15 is going in vacation. All right, so now whoops. Plane for vacation has 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So 155. Awesome. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for swinging by and stuffing envelopes with me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out my Etsy shop, you know, all that stuff. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.